actually never heard that song before this movie, and I guess I just heard a clip, but it was such a catchy little tune. I told Vlad, we should probably do that as a first listen on my other channel sometime soon, so maybe you'll find me exploring it deeper there. Anyway, it's one of the little tunes that featured on this movie, and I liked it, so I used it. Okay, Denzel Washington, one of the actors I enjoy immensely. Maybe I should give you my list of favorite actors someday soon. So when I hear about a Denzel movie, regardless what kind of movie it is, I know I'll find some substance there. Well, of course, there are some other great actors in here as well, like Kelly Riley, um, John Goodman, Don Cheadle, Tamara Tooney, which I first met in The Devil's Advocate. Flight is a 2012 movie which received two nominations at the 85th Academy Awards for Best Actor, Washington, and Best Original Screenplay, Gettins. But again, if you haven't yet watched this movie, go watch it first and then come back because really it's not one you want to have spoiled. But assuming you've already seen it, let's talk about the plot. Airline pilot Captain Whip Whitaker snorts cocaine to stay alert after a long night of drinking as he has to pilot a South Jet Air flight to Atlanta, which experiences severe turbulence during takeoff. Co-pilot Ken Evans takes over while Whip discreetly mixes vodka in his orange juice and takes a nap. He's jolted awake as the plane goes into a steep dive. Whip regains control by pulling out of the dive into inverted flight. Then he makes a controlled crash landing in an open field, hitting his head and losing consciousness on impact. Six people are lost, one of which is Whitaker's lover, Katerina, one of the flight attendants. While in the hospital, Whitaker meets Nicole Magan, a heroin addict recovering from an overdose. The next morning, his friend and drug dealer Harling Mays picks him up from the hospital. Of course, he gets tested, but attorney Hugh Lang gets the toxicology report voided on technical grounds. Now, the entire movie centers around the struggle Whip goes through on different levels. His alcohol addiction, the media which is hounding him, the relationship with his ex-wife and teenage son, his new relationship with Nicole, and the National Transportation Safety Board hearing which is coming and which will decide his fate. During this hearing, Whip cannot accept putting the blame on Katerina and walking out free himself. So, in a moment of conscience sobriety, because he was actually drunk during the hearing, he recognizes the truth and decides to face himself as he is, as who he is, is as the first step towards healing. Thirteen months later, the imprisoned Whip receives a visit from his son, who wants to interview him for a college application essay. He begins by asking his father, who are you? And as a plane flies overhead, Whip replies, that's a good question. So now that we have the plot fresh in our minds, let's start by looking at the best scene. For me, this was an easy choice. Usually it's not, especially when it comes to great movies, but this time it was an instant decision. So Whip's in the hotel room the night before the NTSB hearing, sober for nine days, two hours, and 26 minutes, as he says. He has a bodyguard on the door all night long, and the fridge in his room is filled with only water and soda. He cannot sleep, of course, and late in the night he hears a strange knocking type sound. Long story short, he discovers a door leading to a different part of the apartment which was supposed to have been locked, and in that apartment he finds a fridge full of alcoholic drinks. And here's where we have the best scene. Whip looking in the fridge, hungry, exhausted, dreaming with his eyes open, but deciding to leave the room without drinking. That's the moment where he wants to prove that I choose to drink is not a story, but the truth. What a scene. What an actor. What a struggle. What a defeat. Now for the funniest scene. I have to say that the movie is sad almost all the way through. Tragic, revealing different ways in which lives were lost or tormented. But we do have some funny moments. And the funniest of them all, for me, is the continuation of what I called as the best scene. It's morning when Charlie and Hugh find Whip drunk in the hotel room and call Harling, the drug dealer, to provide Whip with cocaine, hoping to get him alert enough to make it through the hearing. After Harling takes Whip through the entire elaborate process and puts him back on his own two feet, he needs to be paid. And there are only two people in the room, Charlie and Hugh, who, of course, do not want to have anything to do with something like cocaine. 
The scene is beautifully played by the three of them. Charlie and Hugh get all flustered like two boys caught in some bad behavior. No one wants to pass the money to Harling, as that would be a crime. Harling, as an expert, just pulls the money out of Charlie's hand and leaves, not before saying, see y'all on the dark side of the moon. Which, of course, reminds me of Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, which is one that, that so many of my subscribers on Virgin Rock have been urging me to listen to, and will come soon. Anyway, a really funny scene. Now for the saddest scene of the movie. Mm. There are many, too many of them maybe, but to my heart, the saddest one takes place in Whip's hangar where he keeps his old Cessna plane. Nicole, who obviously is his friend, and I mean, besides being his girlfriend at that time, she truly is a friend. So Nicole is trying to get Whip to understand that he has a problem, a drinking problem, to which he turns against her and bites her mercilessly, saying, I don't suck blank to get high, okay? I think this is not only the saddest but also one of the most revealing scenes in the movie. If Whip can turn in a split of a second from being his, the nicest, sweetest lover who invites Nicole to fly with him to Jamaica and live a life of paradise, to being such a ruthless snake, well then, he obviously has a problem. This should have been the eye-opener for him, but as with most addicts, it takes more than that, and so it did for Whip as well. Now, moving on to the most unexpected turn in the movie? I do not think this movie's ending was terribly unexpected. Denzel is not the type of person to have played this role if the script allowed him to get away with his crime at the expense of all the others. He doesn't play movies like that. So I did expect him to step up and come clean. But the most unexpected scene takes place before that. After struggling against the temptation in front of that fridge in the hotel room, after turning his back to the bottle, I thought he would walk victorious to the end. So the unexpected scene for me is this. He turns back and grabs the bottle. What a moment. You cannot miss its impact. But then at the end of the movie, I realized that it had to be this way. It took that kind of fall, the ultimate fall, for him to finally wake up. Unexpected, though. Okay, the funniest line of the movie, of course, has to come from the funniest character, and that is none other than the cocaine dealer, Harling. It's actually during his first entry in the movie. In the background, we have the Rolling Stones, please allow me to introduce myself, I'm a man of wealth and taste. And yes, I have done my first listen to Sympathy for the Devil by the Rolling Stones, and so I've recognized it. So, the guy gets to Whip's room, makes fun of the nurse in his characteristic, obscene way, and then he says, what the fuss, my man? They're saying, sweet Jesus, what a fuss and stud that pilot is. You're a hero, no ship. You will never pay for another drink as long as you live. I mean, you can basically pick over half of his lines in this movie and they're all funny. But not funny in a childish, stupid way. Rather, a bit cleverly funny at each point. Now, maybe you're wondering, what's this fuss and ship all about? Well, that's one of Vlad's favorite ways of keeping things clean, and I decided to borrow it for this channel. Now, for the best line. I expect many to say the best line is actually the last line of the movie, when Whip's son is interviewing his father in jail for an essay he has to write for school, with the title, The Most Fascinating Person That I've Ever Met. And to his son's question, who are you? Whip's answer is, that's a good question. And that's it. The movie ends there. It's a great line, great ending of a great movie. But still, for me, as great as that last line is, the best line is, Margaret, what's your son's name? Remember? The airplane is in a free fall. Whip's mind is computing fast to find a way to save the hundred plus souls on board. But still, he manages to find a handful of neurons to think about a mother who should tell her son, I love you and be a good boy before she dies. Of course, she didn't. But that, that was absolutely beautifully human and i love it now in closing i'd like to share one more thing that i found fascinating in this movie the trial ellen block the ntsb representative who was the head of the investigation against whip since the toxicology report was killed by hugh she has nothing against whip and she knows it so how can she make him confess how can she make him out of his own will step up and say I was drunk. 
having nothing in her hands. I'm not sure if that remote was truly broken or if she did it on purpose to have a pretext to come closer to him to be able to look him in the eye. But that was smart. And then, after asking questions which were boring and had zero potential of achieving something, she drops the bomb. Is it your opinion that Katerina Marquez drank on the flight? While displaying Katerina's picture on the big screen. And that was it. Whip could not go that far. He could not blame the one he loved for something that he was guilty of. It is an amazing scene, beautifully played. A scene which reminds us again that love is the answer, love is the healer. Great movie, really fascinating, and I have to confess, I watched it twice. What about you? Let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Like and subscribe for more, many more, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.